I'm always surprised at how quickly I can fill up a hard drive. Most people have more music than they'll ever listen to, and if you've got kids or pets, you probably have hours and hours of footage of them being super adorable. It's a fact of life for most of us. We're always going to need a bigger hard drive. Either that, or you're unfortunate enough to experience a hard drive failure, which can be devastating. The good news is that upgrading or replacing your hard drive is actually pretty quick and easy. Hi, I'm MJ with iFixit, and today I'm going to show you how to swap out that hard drive in your MacBook. As you'll see in a minute, it's not a difficult repair, but as always, you'll want to follow the step-by-step -step instructions and the repair guide on our site. Today I'm going to swap out this MacBook's original hard drive with a much roomier and faster 500GB Seagate drive. As far as tools are concerned, you won't need very much for this repair. I've got a Phillips double zero screwdriver, a T8 Torx security screwdriver, both of which come from our 26-piece bit driver kit, a coin, and of course, my replacement hard drive. This is one of our most popular hard drives. It's a 500 gigabyte, 7200 RPM Seagate drive. Now that I've got all of my parts and tools laid out, I can get started. The first thing I'm going to do is use my coin to rotate the screw that holds the battery in place, and the battery should just lift out, and I'll put that aside. Next, I can see that there are three screws down here, and I'm going to use my Phillips double zero screwdriver to loosen those up. They're not going to come all the way out. Now that those are loosened, you should be able to kind of gently pull the memory door. We can set that aside. And with that out, I can see that there's a little white pull tab in here. That pull tab is attached to the hard drive. So to remove the hard drive, I'm going to gently pull the pull tab. And it slides right out like magic. Not really. <laughs> now, the hard drive has this bracket attached to it, and the bracket's held on by these T8 Torx security screws. So, I'm going to switch to that bit. And we're going to remove these screws so we can transfer this bracket to our new hard drive. Okay, with those screws removed, I can take off the bracket and we're going to reattach this bracket to our new hard drive. But before we do that, I want to give you a heads up on an easily avoidable mishap. To give you an inside view of what's going on, the hard drive is going to slide through these two rails right here and connect to this connector down at the bottom. The adhesive on the rails is pretty light, so save yourself the trouble of having to reattach them by just making sure you install the hard drive properly the first time. Now that I've got the bracket attached to my new hard drive, all I've got to do is slide it in, format it, and I'll have 500 gigabytes of space for videos of my cat. Awesome. <laughs> of course, you can find all the parts and tools for this and many other repairs at ifixit.com. And if you run into problems during your repairs, there are lots of solutions in the MacBook Repair Guide on our site. Thanks for watching, and happy repairing.